What up, YouTube? You can't stop trading and investing with your boy, James E. Um, today, I want to talk about OZSC. I want to get into my position. Um, the money I keep banking on OZSC just by noticing small patterns within a pattern. Um, I want to get into AITX, having a beautiful breakout this morning um, and how you could capitalize on it. But before I get into that, man, please click that like button. Please subscribe. It is very much appreciated. I am not a financial advisor. I'm just a guy that likes to research and analyze anything that I find interesting in the stock market. And I like to share that with anybody willing to listen. So that being said, let's just get right into it, shall we? Um, let's start off with AITX. Um, so as you can see, AITX is having this beautiful, beautiful breakout um, over this uh, 21 area. We are now into 22. Um, I purchased it yesterday at the close in anticipation. Um, actually, you know what? I take that back. Watch my last video. I explain it. If you haven't watched it, please go and do so. I have purchased it yesterday when it was consolidating in this 18. It had a pop. And then when I made my video, it was down here in the 17. So I was down a little bit. But as I said in that video, um, that it was holding nicely and I see it closing in the 18 range. And it, that's exactly where it closed. It closed at 18. So, you know, it closed with me down roughly about 100 bucks. <clears throat> now, in hindsight, you know, $100 on my position size is less than 1%. Um, so, you know, that wasn't nothing for me to be concerned about. Um, and so, you know, I was anticipating a push today uh, up into, uh, you know, uh, to break this uh, 21 area. Um, and it did exactly that. Um, but my goal was to exit at the 21 just in case it has a double top because I'm always playing safe and I always stick to my plan. Um, yes, I could have held it longer in hindsight and probably made another thousand. Um, so I bought 25,000 shares in this account and bought 38,000 shares in another account. So a total of 63,000 shares. Um, and I made roughly a little over $1,400 on that position today. Um, 720 in this account, 680 in my other account, um, and did exactly what I said. The market opened, um, and I sold it into this push towards the 21 area um, for for a nice gain. Now, again, uh, for me personally, it's not about the money. I have a specific plan um, that I stick to, um, and my goal is to exit anywhere between six to ten percent profit, and to cut my losses one to two percent profit. Okay, so that is part of the process. I stick to my process because it's process over profit for me. Okay, so as long as I stick to that process, in the long run, I could compound interest and grow exponentially instead of me. Um, because we are in a hot market, and I don't want to get into the habit of just letting these ride, and I'm taking big profit, and now that's stuck in my psychology so once the market slows down i you know i don't want to get caught into the to the mental trap of oh cool you know these things just run so i'm gonna buy it and hold it walk away from my computer and then come back and my shit just completely tanked on me um it is a hot market right now so i can you know obviously i can potentially hold on a little bit longer um again i exited in the 21 uh, just a little under 21 about the 20 80 29 area um, you know, so, you know, now we're in the 22 fives. So, I mean, that would have been another, uh, you know, uh, uh, almost another, uh, uh, a penny and a half, almost two cent more profit, which would have gave me, uh, you know, another nice, you know, a thousand dollar gain. But, um, you know, I'm very happy with collecting a, um, you know, a 9% profit, which is roughly what I collected on AITX. And I am very happy with the 9% profit. Um, so, you know, and now we're having this beautiful breakout. So this might actually be a buy for me. Um, if it maintains, I want to see some kind of pullback a little bit and then breaking the high of the 22 because we have a clear path up to this 35 area. So that's definitely a huge range to play. Um, so I might day trade this in between. Um, if not, definitely going to probably be a buy, um, you know, uh, again, anticipating a, a gap up. Um, you know, tomorrow morning, so I may purchase it at the close. Um, now, OZSC, again, another gap up for OZSC. Um, I had purchased 20, or I'm sorry, I had purchased 15,000 shares um, at the market close. 
Um, or actually, I'm sorry, I take that back again. I don't know why I keep saying that. You could watch my previous video on it and you could see exactly what I did. If you haven't watched it, please go and do so. Um, you know, I have purchased it at the breakout in the 27s and let it ride all the way up to today. Um, didn't have a day trade, so I stayed in it, but it was a beautiful breakout over the 27. So I anticipated it holding nicely. Um, just like what you're seeing in AITX, the patterns are very similar, guys. I stick to similarities. I stick to what I know and I capitalize on what I know. I don't have to go and try to find the next big stock. I don't have to go and try to, you know, trade something else or, or a different type of pattern. I stick to what I know. It's very important to do so. Um, so, you know, it was a beautiful breakout and it, and it happened to just grind up and close near the high, which, you know, winded up adding another thousand dollar profit to my already profitable day. Um, so, you know, that was roughly, uh, you know, on my position size um, in, in this particular account. That was actually probably more like a 20 percent profit on that actual position and then add that to the thousand dollars I had already made on it, which was roughly about, uh, again, about a seven to eight percent profit. So in total, about a 17 percent profit on it, uh, which was beautiful. And then we had a beautiful gap up this morning um, and I had sold it in the 42s, um, you know, for another, I want to say it was about $620 profit. Um, so, you know, on my account size, again, that was roughly about nine to 10 percent profit. Um, and that's exactly what I'm going for. It's compounding, guys. So if you if you really look at uh, some of my beginning videos, um, you know, I was capturing all the dollar amounts are different, but the percentage is the same. I'm going for anywhere between six to 10 percent and taking that move and moving on. You guys have no clue how important it is for me that it's the skill of understanding how to capture a six to 10 percent move consistently and then just moving on and being okay with that profit because my goal is uh this is my job so my goal is to constantly stick to my process and capitalize on six to ten percent and then move on and just move on to the next thing and uh, and that's what i'm gonna do just continue to move on to the next thing and wait um so like you know in hindsight i could have held on to this and it was up to the 50s um but that's okay and i could have made another you know eight cent profit um, so, you know, that would have been another massive, massive move. And I could have made another, you know, a thousand dollars there as well. But that is not the goal because you never know. In hindsight, you don't know when you're trading. You don't know if this thing's going to drop or continue to go up. You really don't. Um, so, you know, my goal is to capture my six to 10 percent and uh, and be happy with that. And as long as I stick to that process in the long run, I'm going to scale up, which is exactly what's happening now. Um, I continue to scale uh, from last week. I made roughly a thousand dollars a day. Same thing, collecting seven to ten percent, six to ten percent profit. Um, you know, so I finished that week with a five grand week, a five k week, and then now this week scaled. Uh, seen what the um, um, seen what the move was. Um, got familiar with the pattern, and then I just scaled up. Now I could add that extra five grand to my position, and now this week. Um, starting Monday, you know, again, uh, seven, I believe it was about a 7% profit yesterday and made two grand yesterday. And then today, same thing, made roughly about 9% profit today, which was another two grand. So last week made roughly about an average of a thousand dollars a day and now compound that into this week. And now I'm making roughly $2,000 a day doing the same process. It's not me trying to be greedy or me trying to capture more of a move. It's just understanding the move, understanding what I can capture out of that move and continue to compound that process through time. OK, um, so OZSC is a perfect example of a beautiful breakout. Captured that move. That's exactly the kind of move I'm looking for. Um, and then same thing with AITX. Um, again, look, patterns look almost identical. Um, broke here and now we're having a run to the 23s in hindsight I could have held on but I am very happy taking a $1,400 profit which was about a 9% profit same thing with OZSC I'm very happy taking my profit here which was roughly about a 9% profit because that's on the higher end of what I like to take um, so that is beautiful um, so you know these two both still are looking beautiful because the resistance levels um, you know, we don't have no resistance here until the 79. Um, so, you know, we're in the 47s right now. 
and then AITX, we don't have any resistance until this 35 area and when we're in the low 20s. So these are still both great moves in play for me and I'm going to continue to play these things and capitalize on them, all right? So just to give you guys some perspective on, on how I like to do things and my process of doing it, and that's exactly what it is. So um, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of my analysis. If you made it this far, please click that like button. Please subscribe. You can't stop. Mafia is a mindset movement. Meaning never stop yourself. Never stop your progress. Never stop your education. Especially in finance. Having multiple streams of income is an amazing thing. And the stock market is a place where you could do that. So OZSC still in play until the 70 to 80 cent range. Um, AITX still in play till the 35 cent range. Um, so we got beautiful profit margins in between those that we could capitalize on. All right. So that's going to be it for today, guys. I'll be sure to keep you updated as much as possible. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.